We've done a few exercises where you've had just what looks like half of a finished example. There's obviously something missing if you look at this. So I uh, just thought I'd give you a review video. We're calling this completing measures. Each measure needs something for it to be completed. <clears throat> So you're given a time signature. This is one of the first ones you learn, three beats in a measure and a quarter note gets one beat. So when you do this, you're actually doing a little bit of algebra. You know you want your measure to equal three beats. And if you look at this one, you no, a half note is two beats. So then you have to figure out what am I going to put here that will equal x. Now when you're looking at the numbers, it's easy, right? You know x is 1. That will complete your equation. And so from your knowledge of note values, this is easy as well. A quarter note gets one beat, so that completes this measure. We're going to come back to maybe one or two measures to talk about why x can also be something different. Okay, next equation. We want our measure to be 3. And we have two eighth notes, which we know together equals one beat. So now x is something else. X, you look at the numbers, it's super easy. X needs to be 2 in order to complete your equation. So then we need our note value that is 2 beats, which is a half note. Sort of the reverse of this. Now I have a completely empty measure. So I know I need 3 beats. And I can come up with one note, X, that equals three. You may remember that. A dotted half note equals three beats. This is where you could get a little creative though. In music, we're not just finding one value, we're just wanting to complete the measure. So this X could be this, three quarter notes. It could be a dotted quarter note, eight, and then another quarter note, right? Said so it's not exactly the same as math because you can make X be lots of different things as long as you know the value that you're going for. So usually when you complete examples like this, they do just want one note. So that simplifies what x is going to be. Let's take this. This was relatively easy, right? Let's take this, though. What we found challenging is if we take our 3-4 time signature and we make it 3-8. So we're going to write exactly the same rhythm that completed our example, but we're going to translate it. <clears throat> this is a little bit like when you start counting quarter notes, it's easy because that's the first language that you spoke, right? So let's say quarter notes equals one beat is English. And then eighth notes are now going to be one beat. That's the eight at the bottom. But that's like translating into another language. Well, we're not familiar with that. So this is like learning French, and now we have to count eighth notes as one beat. All right, so if that's the case, we know what this is going to be. This quarter note is now going to be an eighth note. You just have to translate what is one. A quarter note can be one, or an eighth note can be one. If an eighth note is one, then two eighth notes together 
is two, all right? So we have one beat in this measure. We need a note that is worth two, but in our new language. So we're gonna take this eighth note and double it. In this column, our quarter note is one. In this column, our quarter note is two. Keep going with me and I'm gonna give you another way of thinking about it. So we decided this half note is now a quarter note in our new language. This half note is now going to be a quarter note in our new language. Now eighth notes, we decided are one so in this case, we have to come up with something that's smaller than this in order to create one together. Let's come back to that. Here we need something that's three. If we take our two, our quarter note that equals two, and then we have to magically add an eighth note, and that's what the dot does. That gives us three. Look with me, it's the same process. Half note equals two, and then a dot on that half note makes it three. So that we follow the same process. We start with one, we double it, and then we add a dot. So this dotted note becomes this dotted note. Right, so you can see each time we're just going from this category to this category. The half note becomes a quarter note. The quarter note becomes an eighth note. So now we need eighth note to equal something new. And that is going to be a 16th note. We have two eighth notes here, but this can't be the same, right? Because we're in a new language. So it needs another beam. So these are twice as fast, this is twice as fast, this is twice as fast, or half the value, you can say, in our new language. I know it's a lot of math. I know that was a quick review, but let's leave it there.